Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of UNTV, where we are trying to figure out what the hell's going on in WandaVision. This week, dealing with the very aptly titled We Interrupt This Program, which is perfect because we are not at all in the program we have seen so far. I did How's not everyone? I did not read the episode title, but that is a very good title. It is. How, how's everyone feeling about this episode? Let's go around like we usually do. Zoe, what did you think? <clears throat> I liked it a lot. I was very much enjoying the fact that it wasn't another TV show episode. Um, and I like the fact that we, it, I mean, I kind of expected it to take longer for things to be kind of told to us. That was kind of interesting. And Cake, what do you think? Um, yeah, I, I think I liked it more than the last episode. I also liked how how meta it was. Like, we were watching... Um, sword watching them, who was also watching TV. It's like Inception. <laughs> I enjoyed it. And Allison? Nope, didn't, did not, did not enjoy it. I felt like the whole episode. I was like, yeah, I called that. Yeah, we called that. I don't know. I didn't think there was anything like, oh my god, what? It just, I don't know. It was like, yep, yep. So that's what we speculated. Yeah, I, I'm kind of between you guys because I didn't feel like we got a lot of new in this episode for, like, new questions or anything. But I also don't believe the ans all the answers. Mm -hmm. Because, like, yeah, we're getting sh we're understanding a little more of the sword part of it. But I don't think, um, I, like, how it ends with her saying, it's all Wanda. I, I don't think it is. I'm going to stick with my uh, guesses with episode two where it's, no, the show just wants to... Sh make us feel like we know the answers to make us feel secure when it's actually something else entirely i think episode two is kind of telling us to ignore a chunk of this hmm interesting uh and actually speaking of sword brought up by cake already uh so we did get what it stands for here in the mcu it is sentient weapon observation response division which seems kind of fitting for wanda because if a lot of this is her with her power and everything. A sentient weapon might not be too far off. How's everyone feeling with all the sword stuff we saw this week? There wasn't enough swords <laughs> for a organization called Sword. Why does no one have a sword? Yeah, where were the swords? There's no swords anywhere. To be fair, I shields never once had a shield. <laughs> well, in America, he's not a part of shield. He just does. He's a army dude. Um, well. <laughs> It's 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 shield adjacent at the very least, and there were no swords, so I was very disappointed. Not even any knives or just miniature swords. <laughs> That's true. Uh, did you guys like the extra characters connecting to the rest of the MCU that we got this week? There was um, Monica Rambo. We now know officially who she is. James Wu and Darcy Lewis. Did you guys recognize all three of these people? I didn't, well, I guess aside from Monica. I didn't know James was in the MCU. He was actually from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Mm -hmm. And this is hilarious because um, he was an FBI agent who got so jealous of um, Paul Rudd's ability to do close-up magic. He was like, oh my god, you got to teach me how to do that trick. And in this one, he introduced himself by doing a close-up magic trick. I noticed that. That was going to be my fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I'm sorry, I got so excited. I'm, I just needed to talk about. He it. did a magic trick when he whipped out his business card. Oh. He like pulled it out of nowhere. Oh, I did not catch that at all. Yeah, it was like it was a deep cut to Ant Man, but it was, it was good. I enjoyed That's it. Funny. Hmm. To be fair, I feel like this character is a deep cut to the MCU in general. Even though his movie's only like three years old, he's such a minor character to bring into this which i'm pretty excited that we're getting this kind of character. he's a memorable character he is he's a memorable one but i just meant he didn't have a huge part and like if you just said james Wu to someone who's seen all the mcu movies i don't think they would necessarily know who you mean well <laughs> the lack of diversity should we approach yeah. this subject again <laughs> yeah that helps it does well, help there is definitely that and then anyway the we got Darcy Lewis coming back from Thor 1 and Thor 2, Kat Dennings reprising the role, which I, for some reason, never expected to see her in a more, like, 
the professional scientist kind of way as much as she was the um the intern to natalie portman for some reason i just saw her as like the goofy sidekick and now to actually see her like she is the real scientist it threw me off but also still goofy it's yeah. fun i really enjoy yeah. kat denning so that was uh fun to see her again yeah i think part of the problem was i didn't like her in the second thor because she is definitely like just a comic relief in that one mm. and i was very surprised oh could everyone else hear her mm-hmm. oh I would agree with you, Zoe. She was definitely comic relief in the second Thor, but it was nice to see her and her like being like, so that coffee (laughs) and talking about like, you guys seem like the type who'll use those little pods and stuff. Super funny. (laughs) So great. So sorry if I interrupted there. For some reason, I had a thing where I had Zoe on a massive delay that it didn't seem like anyone else did. Yeah, no, it was perfect. That. That's really weird. Uh, at least, hopefully, if it's only affecting me, it won't bother anyone else. I'm just being terrible and talking over things. <laughs> We're used to uh, it. Don't worry. I'm sorry. Uh, what did you guys think of the opening here, where we're coming right out of the blip, where everyone's coming back, <laughs> fading into existence in the middle of a hospital, all the franticness? And I feel like so, this you got is. Anything on that? Oh. I feel like this is something that we've talked about before. Cake and I definitely have about like what happened when everyone came back. Like what about all those people that were like in airplanes or traveling in cars or whatever, like that kind of darker side of the blip that brought people back, but they all probably died anyways because they were in a plane that is no longer in the air. That's like a whole other thing. But it was interesting to see this, this side of the blip and the chaos and the confusion yeah yeah that exactly because like in the avengers movie is that what it's called sure when the you, blip happens, you can call it that it, it, infinity wars when it happens end game is when it stops and then we see more of it in far from home but when that happens it's like this is a good thing all happy people are back joyous reunions but no like it would be so unsettling and unnerving and confusing and chaotic for m- the majority of the people that this happened to like that woman to come back and learn that her mom has been dead for three years that's terrible yeah i will say we got a different version of this scene in spider-man far from home but it was all like a more comedic version of oh it's just all the marching band suddenly in the gym again isn't this just silly and then yeah right here in the hospital it's really interesting to see the more serious one and uh yeah zoe what did you think of this oh yeah same um so i thought it was really interesting that they showed us that side of it um definitely hits home a little bit about the hospitals being overcrowded now just gonna put that out there yeah absolutely um but it was it was definitely interesting and i'm i'm bummed out that marina's dead so we didn't know that she was dead no uh we the only time we've ever heard of her at all in the in the mcu has been in captain marvel which was in the 90s so there's been no hearing mm. from her or even hearing her name since then gotcha gotcha but but, but apparently cool. she built sword yeah which is really cool too because i've already saw a lot of parallels between captain marvel and captain america i think a lot of people have and after captain america peggy went on and was a key member in building shield then after captain marvel uh rambo what's her, maria rambo uh went on and built sword which is very cool that they got similar kind of because women are people too that's not at all what i'm getting at and you know it. they can't be the main superheroes with the shields exactly. and the suits but Marvel? they can build secondary Allison, Allison, we got she hulk okay really oh right that, i think it's gonna be really interesting <laughs> it's gonna be like a comedy legal drama it should be real fun I, just, I don't like the term She-Hulk. Like, he's not He-Hulk. <laughs> oh, I wish he no, was. That's true. hilarious. It's dumb. It's a dumb feminization of it. That yeah. doesn't need to happen. Anyways. Off yes. topic a little bit, but um, I wanted to That's say fine. something. Oh, okay. So just talking about, like, I just wanted to quickly talk about timelines, right? Because we're, like, three years after the first blip when everyone comes back, including... I can't remember her name. Um, Monica? Monica. Monica. Thank you. When Monica returns. So it's 
like only three weeks after they officially defeat Thanos that this is happening. Something along those lines, yeah. Like it is very yeah. soon after. So it is very soon after um, what's his name is dead. And like, it's like, what is happening with everyone else? Where is everyone? What is going on? They're having a funeral for Mr. Iron. Right. That is important, yes. But, like, yeah, it's interesting to wonder, like, what happened between those three weeks with Wanda to get us to this point? Maybe that's yeah, what so we'll find that, out about. That's one of the things I'm real curious about. Um, did anyone else feel sketched out? I don't know what it was about him, but for some reason, Tyler, the director of S.W.O.R.D., I was like, I don't trust you. There's something about your face uh, or something. He's a director of something, and he wears a suit. That's why we don't trust him. Does he wear a suit? I don't know. I just he yes. does wear a suit. <laughs> yeah, yes. well, yeah. He's suspicious. He's one of those. He's always going to be suspicious. Well, who is he though? Like, why is he familiar to me? He looks like a knockoff of like Kiefer Sutherland or someone. Like he's like a not quite Kiefer. I don't know. That's that's how I when I looked at him, I was like, you look like someone. And then I was looking at, it, I was like, I think he kind of looks like Kiefer Sutherland, but not really. I also okay. thought he looked a little familiar, but didn't look him up. I guess one of us probably should have. I will do it right now. Well, while you're no, showing okay. your next point, Sky. Uh, all right. Uh, let's get into this. Uh, are are we sword with the way they're all like watching this show and trying to figure out what's going on on the show WandaVision? It's some of the exact same questions we've been asking, such as uh, I think Zoe brought this up on the last one. Why hexagons? What's up with the hexagons? Why sitcoms? Uh, same space. Me and Jimmy time. are connected. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what's up, Zoe. It is interesting, though, to watch their, like, thought process mm -hmm. when they finally, like, when Kat figures out the TV and stuff and then writing down the same questions that we're having and trying to piece it together and, like, questioning, like, is this real? Is it an alternate universe? What's going on with the, uh, the, the occupants? The, is that the right word? People who live in the town? Population. Population of the town. Like, do they know what's happening? Do they not? They're, they're asking all the same questions we are. And they don't really have many answers. But if I was paying attention, like, there seemed to be a weird jump, didn't it? Because they, he had said at one point, Agent Wu, is that his name? Yeah. He had said at one point that they, it was only yesterday that she went into the town. So it's like time is moving differently inside than outside and episodes mm -hmm. are just running one after the other. Mm -hmm. Like there's no downtime or off air. It seems yeah. like it. I didn't, I don't fully grasp what the kind of timeline we are going on is, especially, well, for one thing, I was reading the episodes as like each one was a single day. Like we've gone through three days in the show. Zoe's shaking her head. She's disagreeing with me. Um, I just have a point. There definitely are more episodes than we have seen because they ask, like, um, Katniss's character is like, you know, whenever she does the dishes again, because she does it every episode. Mm. That kind of, to me, that implies that there's more than one episode that happened in the 50s. And then um, I think James Wu just says, like, is this from the current episode? Yeah, it's happening right now. It just kind of comes, like, across as there's just been episodes just continually Continu going on. Continuous episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really interesting. And it kind of fits into that, like, time isn't working the same within the bubble as what they're mm -hmm. watching, right? So it's not, like, one episode per day. Exactly. So it's kind of interesting that um, Monica... Yeah. Monica went in and to her she lived through like multiple days or even weeks and it's really been like what 24 hours 36 hours kind yeah. of interesting it's hard to say the other thing that I felt weird with time is the whole uh, beekeeper situation because I felt like we see him go down into the sewer on the normal end of things then we have a giant montage of them figuring out things and asking all these questions and all this stuff. And usually a montage means, oh, hours have gone by, days have gone. Who's to say how much time has gone by? Mm -hmm. And then it's not until well after that montage when uh, Darcy and Wu try something else 
that we then see him going through the sewer and becoming the yes. and coming out. I had that exact same thought. I was like, Jesus, how long is the sewer? He's been crawling for hours. It, Yeah, the time does not make any sense on that one at all. It should have maybe been a little bit earlier, but then that wouldn't have worked with the timing of everything else that was happening. It was He's strange. He's a slow crawler, okay? <laughs> He's doing his best. He got down, he took a nap, and then when he woke back <laughs> up, he was like, oh yeah, I got a job to do. He took a wrong turn and then had to double back. It was just a nightmare. Maybe. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think about everything when they come through this like force field around it, changing the look of them? Like the um, surveillance helicopter looking like a normal toy helicopter, and him going from this big radiation suit to the beekeeper suit and then Wu's comment of oh it, maybe it's just a match with the production design Zoe thoughts on that I I don't know I feel like yeah I feel like it might just be to for me it just kind of showed that it was just kind of to get the reality like to make sense within the context of the episodes however the comment about oh maybe they're rendering it use rendering the helicopter uses mm. kind of ticks me but i don't know interesting yeah, i thought i kind of got a bit of that too oh how's it? i just thought it was interesting how everything that went in changed to that decade but everything that came out stayed in that decade it did not oh, switch right. back to normal time Mm -hmm. which I thought was very interesting. Like the rope or whatever that was on the beekeeper, mm -hmm. only the bit that went into the bubble changed into like a jump rope, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. And it stayed like that when they pulled it out. And same with Monica and even the helicopter, right? So I guess the helicopter didn't come back. They just saw it on the screen. But I thought that was interesting that it's not working both ways. And mm -hmm. what does everyone think happened to the beekeeper? Because we still didn't get an explanation there. We just got her saying no and then scene ends again. He's a slow crawler. He's <laughs> doing his best. <laughs> so like four episodes from now, he'll come back out of the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's his way back out, okay? Give oh, do you think her no was like, like sending him back in saying, okay, go on yeah. home now. <laughs> and so then she just reversed no. things so it, he never yeah. even existed. <laughs> She threw Monica out, but she was just like, you know what? I trust this man. He'll just yeah. crawl through the sewer. Yeah, pretty much. Which is like the cleanest sewer in the history of the world. Um, right? <laughs> I'm not sure they know what a sewer is, because that's just like a water pipe or something. I don't know. Storm drain? I'd believe that more than the sewer. Storm drain. Zoe? Um... I just wanted myself to give myself a brownie point because I called the outfit and I was right. Did you call that on the one of these or did you call it another time? I don't remember. I talked about it last week when I said the outfits, uh, two weeks ago when I said the outfit looked like the sword um, outfits from the comics. Oh, right. oh yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And you brought up like the chance of like aim or something. I don't remember talking about that. Right. Oh. We got a couple frozen screens, just as a heads up. Cake, you might want to fix yours. Uh, what's the other frozen screen? Uh, oh, no. Zoe is moving. She was just sitting very still. I'm on a delay, I think, though, so I'm not sure. A little bit, but that's okay. We're making it work. Yeah, that's fine. And, Allison, I'm going to start with you on this next one because it's your favorite thing. What did you think of the jump scare? The jump scare. The jump Vision. scare. Vision. Oh, yeah, that was Were interesting. Were you scared? I was scared. I went, jump scare. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I thought it was really interesting that she, it's, I think it's like further proof or, um, yeah, further proof that maybe like her reality or what she's created as re reality is cracking and she's starting to see maybe how Vision looked the last time she actually saw him, not alive, but in, in physically in, in the real world. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and it was interesting how it wasn't just like a split second jump scare. It was for a little bit of their conversation, right? Until she kind of like suppressed it, maybe? I don't mm -hmm. know if that's the right word, but yes. Very interesting, because I'm willing to bet that this whole thing is because she can't handle losing Vision, but that's my guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cake, what do you think? 
Um, I yeah, basically on the same page as Munch. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of in the in the. Wow, my brain is stopped working. Group. The word is group. I'm kind of in the group, <laughs> hoping that she's maybe just like reanimated Vision's corpse. <laughs> Oh my god, why would you hope for that? <laughs> why not? She could still have vision. He'd just be a little different. So she's a, so a she's thing. a necromancer? I don't know. She has a lot of abilities. A she lot of has the uh, abilities. What she is it Red Witch or Crimson Witch? Scarlet Witch. Scarlet. <laughs> I was so close. I knew it was in that color palette somewhere. <laughs> You're you're doing great, sweaty. <laughs> the burgundy witch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like she she has a lot of abilities, and he looked real dead. So yeah. so it's either yes, she, that's just in her mind's eye. The last time she saw Vision, like Munch just said, or she's somehow reanimated his body, or the aliens that are doing this to her. I've just chosen that form for Vision because I don't know any better. I don't know. I still think there's a higher power involved here. It's not just Wanda. And Zoe, you have anything on this crazy dead Vision? I did not like it at all. It was great, but I hate it. (laughs) Uh, I think I'm on the side of... Yeah, I think I, I agree in terms of probably... To me, I think she's taken his body and this is just what's happening. It could be what's happening that he's just walking around and he's she's seeing something different that's actually that what's actually looking at her, but it's terrifying to think about. So mm-hmm. Yeah. There was at least a moment the as we started to see him, I got really worried. Uh, I think all of you have watched Angel. I don't know if you'll remember this exact thing, but there's a moment in season four where um Angel's son Connor is looking at Jasmine, who was uh, the same actress who was Zoe in firefly and he sees her as this like decrepit messed up demon face and when everyone else sees it they freak out and they're like oh my god that's what she really looks like but connor's like no i've always seen her this way i love her she's beautiful this is amazing and i was getting vibes of that for a second with um wanda i was like oh has she been seeing this version the whole time but then when she had to like suppress it and it went back to normal i was like okay no Mm -hmm. it's not that she's always been seeing this she's like being haunted for this moment yeah, that's an interesting connection. And it would be wild if, yeah, that's actually how she's been seeing him the whole time. Can you well, she's imagine? This happy sitcom life. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, does anyone have any just random things that they really enjoyed or want to bring up or have theories based off what's going on? I want to, I want to talk about James Wu and his talk about having babies. Yes, I was just going to say things. that. It was so good. It's just so, I love him so much. Well, yeah, just the highlight of this just, episode. It's just I'm gonna have yeah. You could have a tiny little FBI badge. Just like. Oh, <laughs> so good i mean it was I really know. obvious when she said want some but it was still like yeah. a really great little yeah. mo- monologue for woo it was good and i think it's great because i think a lot of people can relate to that type of situation mm. just completely misunderstanding the question and then just talking for too long <laughs> yeah yeah totally yeah. totally yeah. very yes. relatable mm-hmm uh, I don't have any anything else to bring up. That was going to be my only talking point because I just thought Wu was fantastic in this whole Sorry. in this whole episode. No, no, no. I'm I'm right there with you, big Wu fan. But that's all I got. Okay, you got anything special? Um, I mean, I really love the dumb cops that are just like, no, that town doesn't exist. It's like, but just just look, <laughs> just look over there. <laughs> No, I was no. really confused well, with that entire scene. I'm like, wait, yeah. but just, the, like, look the, behind you. The There's sign. a sign. <laughs> you got, yeah, you got not gonna read. It was like just over their shoulder the entire <laughs> time. It's like, no, we're from Eastview. There's, there's no Westview. What are you talking about? It's like you're standing outside the town at the sign, but it doesn't exist. Yep. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. 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 Okay. And okay. aliens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you guys think they are inside of the, like they're somehow traveling in and out of the bubble a little bit? Or do we think they kind of went through it? Like when they drove down the highway, they ended up in the next town over or something instead of going in where everyone else does. Where do we think these two ended up? I thought they went back past the SUV. I didn't realize oh, they went they through like the town. Around? Ooh, mm -hmm. I, I guess. I don't know. We didn't really see the direction it went, I don't think. I mm -mm. just assumed it went that way, but... Yeah, because I think, like, the drones, they would have been, like, sucked into West Westview. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't... Yeah. I don't know. I think I just left, went back to Eastview, talked about these crazy guys. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Do uh, we think that there's any significance as to who the, um, who the contact, the the witness, witness protection program person is? I hope so. Right, because then it would kind of also tie in Wu a little bit more. Like, why is he there? Who is this person, and how did they just randomly end up in this town that Wanda has taken over? It's yeah, not Wanda. Really... It, can't, it can't possibly be Wanda, yeah. right? That would be wild. But who is it? Have we seen them? Will it matter? I don't know. I'm so curious because it feels like one of those little like offhanded things that could just be, oh, this is how the FBI found out about this and it mm -hmm. doesn't actually matter. It could mm -hmm. just be anyone. But it could be something that's very important. And I, I'm with you guys that I think I'd rather it is too. Mm -hmm. It would mm -hmm. add a little bit more to it for sure. Right. Do we um, think that anyone else in the back of the van that Kat Dennings came in on is important in any way? I don't, I don't know if she did have like, some good riffs with them, but is that just the end of that? I, yeah. I doubt we'll ever see them again. Maybe oh, for a line. Hopefully not. They were very unmemorable. <laughs> oh, I just enjoyed when she was like, yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> Classic yeah, exactly. Kat. She's the memorable one there. It's not that it was any of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I will toss this out there just because I've heard a lot of theories of it and I, I'll toss it in just so we have it. There's no real evidence or anything of this, but there was a couple episodes we had Agnes um, offhandedly mentioning the devil. And there is a devil in the in the Marvel Universe. He is Mephe Mephisto, who is who's basically Satan. And he has done magical things like this in comics before. Not like this exactly, but he has done a lot of stuff like um, there's a super memorable Spider-Man comic that a lot of people hate, but I think it's cool, called uh, Brand New Day, where basically after uh, Spider-Man's identity got put out to the public, they might actually do this with the movies right now, um, after Spider-Man's identity got out and Aunt May got murdered over this and all this other stuff happened, he made a deal with Mephisto to make it so absolutely everybody's memory of who he was went away but it cost him his marriage to Mary Jane. Hmm. And it could be something like that. Like Wanda made a deal with Mephisto to bring Vision back, but she is now trapped in this reality and keeping it solid. It's a thing. Interesting. Is he a robot? No, he is not the um, robot Satan from Futurum. Robot, robot devil. devil. How dare robot you, Satan. sir? I'm sorry. And another thing that I saw somewhere that I definitely didn't pick up on, when uh, Wanda's throwing um, Monica out of the house, she goes through the wall of the living room, the wall of the baby's bedroom. Then if we consider the fence a wall, she's breaking the fourth wall when she leaves the bubble. Aww. Which is kind of interesting. Yeah, not much to read into that. Yeah, but that's neat. No, that's neat. Thing. Uh, I had another thing about that scene, actually. Um, the change in the aspect ratio when we go through from mm. her watch, like from the TV to her being suspicious, it goes into like the normal what we're used to now mm -hmm. and only goes back when Vision comes back and she's all like, oh, it's fine. Like, it's all good. And then as soon as she says, I have it under control, it goes back to like the mm -hmm. old school TV ratio. And I mm -hmm. thought that was pretty neat. Yeah. I thought it was super neat. It really added, it added to that scene a lot. I really enjoyed it. It was very subtle. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have fun. <laughs> was anyone else like... feeling real creeped out for Vision when we got a lot of like him being like, you know, we could just go anywhere. We could do anything. And she's like, no, we'll stay here. I'll, I'll make this work. And then his face looking so creeped out when she's asking, what should we watch on TV? Yeah, he looks concerned. Mm -hmm. 
he looks concerned. Like something, even he knows something's not right. I mean, we're, I think we're going under the assumption that he remembers the conversation he just had outside with the Mm -hmm. neighbors. So that's probably adding a little bit to his concern and his suspicions over this town and probably his wife a little bit. But yeah. I think it's great for a zombie to be so self-aware. Oh my god. <laughs> he is not a zombie. No, he's a robot. A robot zombie? A that would rom- be breaking new ground. Rom- I like that. Rombi? <laughs> that sounds too much like Rob Zombie. Wait, is Rob Zombie a robot zombie? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Obviously, it's been there this whole time. How did no yep. one catch this? Yep. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. Um, I have uh, one. I actually had. Do you want to go first, sorry? Yeah, mine's not important. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted. Speaking of Vision's creepy face, it was just like really reminiscent of like pop comic sci-fi covers, and I really, really liked it. Just like how like the blank eyes and like the kind of off-gray color. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of thought it was cool. It kind of reminded me of just like sci-fi covers from the fifties and sixties, and kind of even Doctor Manhattan, co- like. From Watchmen. Yeah, it's very cool. So, I had nothing. Yeah, I, that is neat though. That's a really good point, especially oh. because it like yeah, you're right. It was gray, but it was like this like almost pale purplish gray. Which Watchmen's a great thing to bring up with that because its whole thing was trying to put all the heroes in secondary colors instead of primary colors, like uh, a lot of superhero comics. Um, that's just a real side point that ver- that probably has no bearing on anything, but I just, like it. Uh, yeah, now everyone knows. I have, a, I have a lot of side points on this. This is mostly side points now. The theories have all fallen apart, so... Uh, my big thing, I, well, not big thing, but the next thing I wanted to bring up was just what I think is my favorite line of the episode, which was um, Darcy. And it's pretty much a tie right now on who I enjoyed more in this episode, Darcy or Wu. But I'm giving best line to, why does it keep switching time periods? It can't be just for my enjoyment. I love how she considered so that. Yeah, she considered that, but then she's like, "No, it can't just be for that." <laughs> no, that might be part of it, but that can't be the only yeah. reason. Which I feel is like something like you have you have said, Sky. You're like, "Why does it keep switching timelines?" Like, I love it, but why is it happening? <laughs> yeah, she is us. Yeah, it's yeah. sort of is us. Like, yeah. Darcy yeah. and Jimmy are just us. This is just it. Like, we need a whiteboard. We could just put one back here, write down all our questions. Yeah. Why hexagon? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next week I'll have my whiteboard right up here and we could do that. Okay. All right. Um, any just final random thoughts from anybody or have we pretty much covered things? Nothing for me. No. No, I think my only thought is that even though it is Wanda Vision, there's very little Wanda or Vision in this episode, but I still think it was a solid episode. Mm-hmm. Even though a lot of it was just them asking the same questions that we are asking, we still got a lot of questions answered, like, who is Sword? What is that symbol? Why are they there? I don't know. That's just me wrapping up. I liked it. That's the thing, that's kind of part of, like, personally, that's kind of, like, my favorite type of, um, like, Marvel stuff is, like, when it gets really grounded and it gets really, like, level, like, government level is what I enjoy. So I really enjoyed this episode. I had one more thing that keeps, like, popping into my mind and leaving again and again and again. What? Oh, yes. Um, Going back to episode two one last time. This is my final point. Um... Wanda was the one all thrown off by everything, like hearing the voices on the radio. And she was the one who went to Vision and was like, oh, my God, something weird is happening. But Vision was too drunk at the time or it was right after he finished being drunk, whatever was going on because of the gum. Um, So if she is 100 percent responsible for this and completely in her right mind, in a way, why would she bring attention to any weirdness to Vision is the one thing I just want to kind of leave us with because i think that's evidence that there's definitely something more she's at least semi-responsible but to what extent or maybe it's like she's just such a good um magician she just forgot that she's even done anything the burgundy magician the burgundy <laughs> 
<laughs> so embarrassed. I wish all of you were dead. This like, is you know the I title of today's of episode is The Burgundy Magician. Hey, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next week for episode five. Where maybe we'll be in the 80s this time. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, guys.